Hi guys and welcome to the Pet Quarter community. In this video we are going to be reviewing Brisk Care which is a Czech brand of dog food and it's a listener or viewer request so thank you so much for your request. You can request any food you like or whatever topic you want me to talk about and we will talk about it. Today we are going to be reviewing the Brit Care dog food range which is manufactured by Vafo Praha Limited. V-A-F-O Praha Limited. Now like most dog food brands they have a wide array of different products tailoring to different breeds, different size of dog and different conditions. But instead of me going over every single recipe for every single dog breed, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the gist of whether this is a good food or a bad food, and then we are going to review. So the first food I am going to cover is the Grain Free Junior large breed. And don't get too caught up in the large breed, small breed, puppy or senior. A much better question is, is this food good or is this food bad? Sometimes, well a lot of the time actually, manufacturers will say whatever they want on the front. Say they will put a picture of a golden retriever or a French bulldog and they will say this food is specifically formulated for this breed. It couldn't be further away from the truth because most dogs unless they have a specific condition a dietary or a health issue should be fed the same unless your dog has pancreatitis or diabetes your dog should get the same food irrespective of whether they are a pomeranian or a german shepherd but anyway, the first one is the grain-free junior large breed, salmon and potato. So anytime someone mentions grain-free, you have to look out for substitutes. What are they substituting the grains with? And we don't want to see a like-for-like -like substitution, as it were. So if in a grain recipe, they put 30% rice, we do not want that 30% to be converted into or replaced with potato or pea starch, for example, because they're just another filler. So what we want to do is reduce the overall amount of carbohydrates we feed the dog because dogs don't need that many carbohydrates. So we have dried salmon, which is 35%, and then we have 32% of potatoes, which is a lot of potato, in my opinion. We then have salmon protein, 13% and it contains chicken fat. So chicken fat is a fat which is very cheap, readily available and if your dog has a protein intolerance to chicken and you feed your dog this thinking you are only feeding the dog salmon, you are also feeding your dog chicken which is an indication that you should not be feeding this food. So what are the impressions? Salmon, dried salmon 35%, great. Chicken fat, great. If your dog is not allergic or reactive to chicken, that's good. Then we have salmon protein, 13%. I don't like the 32% in potato. Second one is the Brit Care Adult Medium Breed Lamb and Rice. Anytime you see a recipe with something and rice, chicken and rice, lamb and rice, salmon and rice, rice is a very cheap filler. It's a grain and it doesn't belong in pet food. 4%, 2% rice is okay, but having high amounts of rice in the food is really not benefiting your dog. Your dog needs a high amount of protein and very limited carbohydrates. So whenever you see something lamb and rice or chicken and rice or something and rice, try to stay away from it. Nonetheless, we are going to go over the ingredients here. We have lamb meat meal, which is very unspecific, but it's 38%, which is quite high and I like that. The second ingredient is 
rise and that is 37 percent now rice does expand when you cook it and you can try this at home so it is very likely that the amount of rice in the recipe will be a lot higher than 37 percent and then again we have chicken fat which is a very cheap and common binder in low quality foods and then we have your dried apple pulp and salmon oil chicken liver hydrolyzed and brewer's yeast and then we have your glucosamine and some other additions what do i think about this recipe i don't like the meat meal i don't like to see meat meals in in dog food i much rather it be dried lamb or freshly prepared lamb or raw lamb that goes in the recipe i don't like the lamb meat meal categorization and then we have 37 percent rice which is a a lot of rice and I don't like that. We then have chicken fat which again if your dog is intolerant to chicken you will be feeding the dog chicken. The next recipe we are going to be looking at is, is the Brit fresh chicken and potato. I like whenever we see fresh something because that means we are feeding our dog fresh ingredients or at least the ingredients that went into the blender were fresh when we started cooking the food. So fresh chicken 40% I absolutely love that. The second ingredient is dried chicken, 25%. So straight out of the bat, 65% of that bag of food is fresh chicken and dried chicken, which is wonderful to see. And then we have 8% potatoes. We go into the chicken fat, which is preserved with mix tuposerols and oats, which is low glycemic carbohydrate. So straight away, we see a very stark difference between the lower quality kibble they make and this food, which is of higher quality. So if I had to choose between the other one and this range, I would choose the fresh range, even though it will probably be more expensive and more dear to your wallet. Fresh chicken, 40%, dried chicken, 25%, only 8% potatoes and then some oats there. Some buckwheat, which I'm not really sure about, but everything else seems okay. And then the last one is going to be the Brit Fresh Duck with Millet Adult Run and Work, which is a very weird denomination if you ask me. Now, the first ingredient is fresh duck. Again, it's 40%. I absolutely love that. The second one is dried duck, 30%. And then we have the chicken fat, which is the cheap ingredient from coming from animal protein that these foods seems to utilize in every recipe. Then we have oat, millet, 4% and buckwheat. They then put some salmon oil, some chicken liver and some brewer's yeast. So again, high quality animal protein with fresh duck and dry duck, some chicken fat there, which depending on the price, it will be a bit more dear or not as expensive as other foods, but this would be a pretty good food to give your dog. Now, what do I think about Brit Care and their range of products? Well, I do like the fresh range, even though I do not know about their pricing strategy or how much you can buy their products for. So I do like the fresh range. What I don't like is the lower tier quality food. That I don't really, I, I, I'm, I'm not a subscriber to it. I don't like the, the brewer's yeasts and I don't like the high amounts of rice they put in the food. So if you are going to feed this food, make sure you go for the fresh range and your dog will be a lot better off. The other one and the prescription diets they do, I don't like them. They have a lot of filler. It's a bit unspecific. I'm not a fan of the meat meals. But the thing I don't like the most is the rice. Very high amounts of rice and I'm not a fan of that. So anyway, that has been the review. If you want to shop good food, please click in the link below, the petquarter.co.uk. We only sell foods that are very, very good for dogs out of principle. We wouldn't feed anything that contains 37% rice. All our foods are wonderful and you can shop here. If you are going to buy dog food in the UK, why not try us? 
We are lovely. I'll see you in the next one.